My name is Paul Reiber. I'm a member of the Krenoff Foundation Board, and we are going to interview um, students in the program uh, on this last week of the school year. Uh, my name is Jamie Walsh, and yeah, this is my second year at the Krenov School. And where where are you? Where were you from, or are you from before you came here? I was in Oakland and Berkeley for the last ten years, and then before that, I grew up in Southern California. Uh huh. What what kind of woodworking background did you have before you came to school? Uh, I was working as a handy person and doing a little bit of construction in the Bay Area, and then we were restoring an old Julia Morgan house uh, in Berkeley. And uh, I wanted to get better at woodworking because there was a lot of woodworking projects on that job. Um, and so I started taking uh, some you know, basic woodworking classes and then uh, found a Saturday class at Laney College in Oakland where it's all hand tools. And that was kind of, I don't know, an eye-opening thing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, discovering wooden planes and a couple woodworking books. George Nakashima's and Krenov's books. Mm -hmm. So how did you hear about the school? Uh, through, well, I've read Krenov's books, uh, The Impractical Cabinet Maker, and then found uh, Laura's social media. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh, wow, mm -hmm. I've been coming up to the Mendocino Coast for the last five years and never knew this was up here uh -huh. before that. Any particular moments in the course of the teaching or in your projects that really stand out for you? Yeah, so there's quite a few. Um, I guess the first one would be picking material for the very first project last year. Um, talking with Greg Smith going through the boardroom um, and Todd and Laura, but I think there was a moment where I was going through with Greg where I was like, I just need to pick wood. Um, and I was having a hard time narrowing things down, but it really helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just getting all different input from the different instructors and kind of being able to like decide for yourself what ways you want to take their advice and mull things over. But what triggered your your projects? I mean, I know you you start out with a kind of an assignment. Uh -huh. for your first project, but then you're pretty much on your own, right? What What was that process of deciding what to do next like for you? Uh, I think the project for my second year is uh, it was a little easier for me to figure out. The first two, I had a hard time deciding on what I was going to make. Um, the second one, or the second first project of the second year, uh, was, was a commission for one of my siblings. Um, so it was kind of going through the design process that Eiler describes during his like commissioning talk, mm -hmm. business talk. Um, that was really helpful. So I talked to my brother. I was like, what projects speak to you? Um, put a mock up together, asked for a little feedback if he thought the size was right. Um, yeah, and what kind of shapes he liked. I asked him to look through the Crown Ops School's website and look at past student work to come up with wood selection and I think that was a really fun process, mm -hmm. working through it with him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What's it been like for you being up here in a small town on the coast? It was definitely a bit of culture shock at first. Um, I think there was a lot of like big life changes, uh, so that was, it was a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's a really sweet, intimate community, and you can tell that people really care about it a lot. Just, you know, the more you get to know people. Um, everyone kind of knows each other, um, so that's been a really fun, a fun aspect of it. You get to interact with people you, I don't think, usually would. Um, it's just there's like a generational thing where it's like you're talking to people whose kids are still living up here, parents are living up here, and grandparents in a lot of instances. And I don't know, it's just a really sweet, tight knit community, especially with the woodworkers. Um, but yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. been a really good time. Um. What what advice would you give to a, a brand new student? That's a, good, that's a hard question. Um, Maybe I should ask it. What advice do you wish you'd gotten before you came? Um, I 
think. I'm gonna think about that for a sec. Okay. Um, make time for uh, like taking care of yourself outside of the program. Um, you know, going for a run or swim or bike ride, whatever you need to do outside of school to decompress a little bit. Um, but also making uh, time to like draw and think about things and uh, design your project, uh, maybe outside of the workshop a little bit. Um, yeah, I think mm -hmm. that'd be kind of the, the big one is mm -hmm. do some more designing on yeah. your own time. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel that your time here has impacted your sense of your future? I know I want to stay woodworking and I'm going to live up here after the program wraps up. Um, so I think the program has really solidified the way I feel about woodworking, I guess in this particular way where it's, you know, more mindful, slower, maybe not slower, but, uh, yeah, you're kind of thinking about things holistically. Um, so I want to keep doing that, you know, whether it's working, uh, doing mill work for someone's home, built ins or, Ideally, you'd be, you know, making custom furniture, but realistically, I think you can kind of apply the things you learn here to any avenue in life. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you said you're going to stay up here? Yeah. That's, that seems like a big life change. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think there's talk of, you know, shared shop space in the area with uh, a couple people, a couple people from class oh, and then good. a few alums too. So I think that's particularly exciting That's good yeah and you um what's been the impact on your experience of getting the the scholarship from the, the krenoff foundation yeah uh it means that i don't have to work on sundays uh which is good because there's uh six days a week is already a lot um and having a day to either come to the shop if you need to or just you know get out and have a day off um, right. That's been the big do thing. Do those things you were saying you should do outside of school. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Prioritize yourself yeah. and yeah, what Great. you need to do. Well, thank you. Yeah. This has thank been you. fun. Yeah. It's been really lovely. Yeah. Good. Cool. Thanks, Paul. Good. And glad to hear you're going to be around. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's, uh, I don't know. I love it up here. So excited to stick around. And yeah. That was kind of my reaction to being here too. Was, oh, yeah. This is really a nice place. I want to stay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm living out at Michael Mathe's property, which is mm -hmm. just like beautiful and tucked away in the woods. And mm -hmm. Yeah, couldn't be happier. Yeah. Good, good for you. Yeah.